All right, welcome everybody. Um, I want to show you something about GNS3, which is a great simulator for Cisco routers. You can run real Cisco iOS uh, on your PC or on your laptop, um, which is really nice because you don't need real hardware anymore and it's very fast, it's easy to save uh, configurations and so on. Um, there's one problem most people run into when uh, you start to work with GNS3 and the thing is that it might eat up your CPU so you got a couple of routers running and your CPU goes up to 100% and um, well we know what happens then uh, your whole PC will be so slow that it's not responding anymore so I want to show you what to do about it and how to make this program really work uh, pretty well um, okay so let's have a look at GNS3 and let's say uh, I just take a couple of routers 3600 for example let me boot them up so I got my console sessions and let me show you my system monitor and by the way I'm running Ubuntu but um, if you would do this on Windows you would see the same thing what I see here is my CPU goes up to 300 percent so my computer will become really slow and I'm only running like three routers at this moment okay so that's something um, we need to fix let's have a look let me close these screens um, I'm going to stop all of these routers and I'm just going to boot up one of them let me show you my system monitor again okay so I only have one router running and its CPU is 96% uh, so that's really too much okay so my router is running it's not doing anything and what we should do to fix this problem is find a good uh, idle PC value so what I can do is right click on my router pick idle PC and this might take a little while but it will uh, calculate another better value and if it's uh, a good one then you will see that the CPU will go uh, down so what you need to do, just pick one which has uh, an asterisk, asterisk in front of it. Press OK. OK. Applied value. And let's have a look. Well, as you can see, my CPU dropped from 96 to 4%. So that's much, much better. OK, so that's a good thing. Um, now what I should do to make my life a little bit easier for the next time if I uh, take a look at this router you will see uh, idle max value is 1500 ok that's all good but it will also show me uh, the third line uh, image is shared it will show me the file but it says idle PC value of uh, OX603 and so on now you should write down this value if you have found one that works for you go to edit uh, iOS images and hypervisors click on the image and what you will see right now is that uh, it will save the idle PC value and if it didn't save it just copy and paste it over here ok now close that's all good let me add just a couple more routers just to see what is happening let's boot them and if you take a look at the system monitor so I got two processors running CPU is really high but uh, right now they're all booting uh, 
Yeah, so these are all the routers that I just uh, booted up. Don't mind those screens, that's okay. And if you take a look at the system monitor now, huh, so all the routers are done booting, they're all in, uh, well, idle, huh, so they're not doing anything. And you will see that my CPU is only at 16 for this process and 16 for this one. So that's a good thing, right? Okay. What other thing you could do? Um, let's say you found your good idle PC value, um, but you also you already made some projects. Uh, then you could also just edit the config file of your uh, GNS3 project. So in this example, I let me show you. Uh, I got a project here slash data GNS3. So this is my lab. And it will show you the idle PC value. Just copy and paste the idle PC value that you have found into this config file. Save it. Open it with GNS3. And it's all good. So that's pretty much it. Have fun using uh, GNS3.